Hi, my name is Sam Akram and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm an international makeup artist who's been in the industry for over 20 years now. I'm specializing in bridal services and into makeup education. So as for our first video, I decided to go for a very soft, glamorous look with heavy lashes and very strong pigment eyelid. I hope you enjoy this look and I'll be leaving my social links below so please do follow and um, I'll see you soon. Do like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. Um, today I'll be introducing you a very nice heavy smoky look which will be um, complement to nice glossy lips and something that's very easy and simple to use so I'll be going through a step-by-step -step guide. So I'm going to start with skin prep so I'm going to use the Revolution Prime Oil as my skin's dry so I'm just going to add probably about two to three drops so I'm going to use the um, naturally radiant moisturizing serum which is two in one and I'm just going to use like two pumps and just massage it through and it's ideal for primer as well and the next step I'm going to do is the eyebrows and I'm going to use the Anastasia's dip brow And this look is very, very easy. So I'm just framing the eyebrows. So I'm using the P. Louise um, primer as an eye base. And I'm just gonna use just a little bit. Okay, so I'm using Huda Beauty's concealer um, and it's just gonna go over the lid. So I'm gonna use the Naked Urban Decay Heat Palette. And I'm gonna use the lighter colour first. And then I'm gonna go on to E Double. I'm going to use amber, which is this colour. So I'm going to go back to Huda's concealer and I'm just going to use it just underneath the eyes. Okay, so I'm using the MAC um, gel liner, which is called the Black Track. And I'm using a really thin liner brush by MAC. So one of the reasons why blending is really important, especially for a liner, is only because if you want to have slightly bigger eyes, it's nice to have the uh, waterline liner bleed a little bit, which means it's easier to blend. So around this area, it'd be a lot more nicer and easier where your eyes will look wider and bigger. If you didn't want to have the eyes you know, by, by any reason why not using black liner, you can use a white gel liner, which also helps the eyes look bigger as well. So depending on the style of the liner, it's very important you go for a liquid liner. If you're gonna go for maybe a top liner, I normally go for a liquid. So if you're gonna go for a gel, that's entirely up to you as well. But at this, this look that I'm doing today, I'm not gonna be using no liner on top. So that's the only reason why I've used a gel to make sure my bottom eyeliner, eyeliner looks bigger. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the He Devil and I'm going to use it with a smudge brush and I'll be using it just underneath the waterline so just below my lash line and at this stage don't be scared to use too much product because you can always blend it in okay so I'm going to use another pigment which is by Body Graphy and it's um, the colour Sparkler 6776 and I'm just going to use just a little bit these pigments are very, very strong. So ideal for heavy eye makeup, for brighter looks, highly recommend them. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use it just slightly onto the lid. It's a bit more. Just here. So I'm gonna be using the Tati Lashes in number TL3, which are my favorite lashes at the moment. And the first thing you'll always have to do is always make sure you measure the lash before you actually apply. And I'm just gonna show you how you can do that. So just there. And I'm just gonna measure them. 
and if it does sit onto the actual eyelid so that I don't need to cut them actually so they're perfect and I'm just making sure they sit right on top of my lash line so I'm using Sohudo's liquid foundation and you don't need much to be honest and I'm going to use the Beauty Blender. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using uh, a bronzer which is by Makeup Gallery and I'm, I know this is quite light and it's actually ideal for my bronzing but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using it just on my eyebrows and just the tip. Because my skin, because I've used an oil primer sometimes what happens is we have a bit of oil product that will be sitting onto the um, eyebrow area so just in case um, your eyebrows do become oily or it doesn't set you have the baking powder which you can use as a bronzing powder just to tap over the eyebrows to set and it's actually longer lasting as well and then I'm just going to brush it off just a little bit So now that the eyebrows are done, I'm moving on to contouring and I'll be using the Crylon TV stick which is NG1 and I'll be using it just slightly over the below my cheekbones jawline and the nose area. I've been using the um, TV sticks for a while now, for at least 15 years. Um, I find that the quality of um, TV stick is a lot more longer lasting, a lot more moist, um, sets onto skin really, really well. You can use it with water, um, powder setting, um, and you'll notice that the actual base is actually quite strong. Strong in the sense that it's actually quite smooth, it's like a, a nice smooth canvas. So if you're going to use heavy makeup, heavy contouring, um, it's definitely ideal for bridal, theatre makeup, um, photography makeup as well. But um, I normally use it for contouring. Um, also for heavy bridal makeup as well and I find the base sits in really really nicely so I'm going to be just stabbing in my beauty blender you can also use a brush if you like but I'm just going to use a damp beauty blender and I'm just going to use it right underneath the eye area so I'm using Huda Beauty's banana bread baking powder And I'm just going to use just a little bit, making sure that the foundation has set really well. You don't need to use too much, you can use a brush if you like. But I like using my sponge only because I have open pores and I find it really sets really well with the Beauty Blend. So I'm going to go on to the um, bronzing powder that I used on my eyebrows, which is called uh, Makeup Gallery. And I'm just going to use. just over the contouring so I'm using the uh, Laura Mercier's um, addiction highlighter and I'll be just using it very lightly so I'm only going to be highlighting the bridge and the tip of my nose and that's more than enough so I'm using the Varium blusher palette and I'll be using this colour. So I'll be using the um, Barry M Lip Liner, which is called Chocolate. So what I normally do is I exaggerate to slightly um, overline my lips, um, only to make sure the shape is slightly bigger, uh, because I'll be going for a very nudey, peachy colour, and that also helps to make the lips look nice and round. So I'm using Rimmel's Matte Lip Colour, uh, which is called Be My Baby. And also the other thing is you need to make sure your liner is blended very nicely with the lip colour, so it's not too harsh. So I'll be blending in while I use the apply the colour. And normally it takes about a few seconds or a minute for the lipstick to settle in and go matte. with heavy lashes and very strong pigment eyelid. I hope you enjoy this look and I'll be leaving my social links below so please do follow and um, I'll see you soon. Do like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. 